Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial I am going to show you how to um, purge a specific object from the recycle bin itself. Now what is a recycle bin? Well the recycle bin was introduced in Oracle Database version 10G and what it is is you can think of it as just like the Microsoft Windows uh, recycle bin that you see on the desktops. Um, what it is is it's a feature which allows you to drop an object such as a table and the default behavior in Oracle Database 10G because the recycle bin is enabled by default. The default behavior is when you drop an object like a table it doesn't get dropped from the database permanently right away. It gets um, moved to a recycle bin but only temporarily. Okay and the word temporarily is you know however long that means and what I mean by that is um, when you drop an object, Oracle will automate. You can recover it at any time, but Oracle will automatically um, free that object from the recycle bin if it if it runs into space constraints later on and needs that space. Okay, so that object is available, but it's underneath the space management um, mechanism of Oracle at that point, the automatic mechanism. Okay, so but this in this video, I'm going to show you what if you purged an object. And you don't want to bring the object back, but you want to get the space in the recycle bin back immediately. You don't want to wait until Oracle, um, you don't want to wait until Oracle removes it. Or the table that you dropped contains some real sensitive, confidential type information, and you don't want it hanging around in the recycle bin, okay, for people to be able to read it, okay, or to be able to recover it. All right. So, um, not that other users can recover other users' recycle bin objects, but you know you don't want anyone, even the DBA, let's say, to see it. So, go ahead and let's do select, set your Oracle SID variable to finance, and let's ensure we're set properly. And let's connect using SQL Plus, and let's log in as the user I created called Justin. Type in my password. Show user Justin. So I'm connected to the database as user Justin. Now I'm going to create two tables. Okay, in in um, two tables in this um, in the schema, the Justin schema. So I'm going to say create table names. One column F name with data type var car 20. Then I'm going to create table addresses column called address data type var car 20 okay describe names describe addresses select table underscore name from user underscore tables so I have two tables that are owned by user Justin okay that are address table addresses and the table names okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check we're going to check our recycle bin Select original underscore name from recycle bin. I'm going to see that there is nothing in my recycle bin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop table names without any clauses. Verify that the names table has been dropped because I can't describe it anymore. And then I'm going to select original name from recycle bin and see that I have the names object in this recycle bin now. Describe addresses. Okay, so the addresses table still exists in the schema. So I want to type in drop table addresses. Now the addresses table does not exist anymore. I can't um, describe it. But if I do a select original underscore name from recycle bin, I will see that I have two tables in the recycle bin: names and addresses. The two tables I just dropped. Okay, so let's say that I just discovered that I dropped my um, this names table but then but I don't want it to hang around in the recycle bin okay I, I, I meant to drop it with a purge option you know that uh, where you can drop stuff without it going to recycle bin see my video on how to drop an object bypassing the recycle bin to, to, to get details um, on that okay I meant to use the drop table name purge option okay but instead I just did drop table name which means that by default it Oracle puts it in the recycle bin, which means that anyone else that logs in under my username or the SysDBA would be able to retrieve it, and I don't want that. It's it's extremely confidential. So that being the case, I can purge a table. I don't want to wait for Oracle's automatic purging mechanism to um to get to the table when it 
when it's necessary because of space constraints. I want to do it now. Okay. So what I can do is I can type in purge table names. Table purged. Now when I do select original name from recycle bin, I will see that the names table is gone, but the address table is still there. And I could also type type in purge table addresses like so. And then do a select original name from recycle bin and see that that table is now out of the recycle bin. And of course, it's out of my schema as it's always they're out of my schema as they've always been. Okay? So you can do a drop table and automatically it will by default it will Oracle will throw that object into the recycle bin. But once it's in the recycle bin, you can delete it from the recycle bin by typing in purge space the table name. Just like I did. Purge table the table name. Okay, that's uh, that's just like on Windows. If you were to right click on a recycle bin on your desktop and say empty recycle bin, same type of deal. Okay, all right, that's how you purge a specific object from the recycle bin.